Today we're going to fork and edit a high charts code template in four steps. Fork it to your GitHub, publish the code to the web, modify the chart titles and labels, and then upload new data from a CSV file. Okay, let's get started. Let's go to the template that's linked here. It's a high charts scatter CSV and you need to sign into your GitHub account. So I'll sign in here with the sample data viz for all account. Go ahead and sign in. And now I want to go up and make sure that it's really me that I'm signed in. It proves that I signed in as data viz for all. I'm looking at the Jack Doherty template, but I'm going here. I'm going to go into the fork command and that's going to make a copy of it directly into my account. It takes just a few seconds. But now I can confirm it. Yes, I'm in the data viz for all account and I have forked a copy from the Jack Doherty account here of this code template. Let's go to settings and I want to publish this to the web. I'm going to scroll down to the GitHub pages section and I'm going to go to the drop down and say master branch and save. Whatever code is in the master branch is going to be published to the web and it's going to be this URL. I'm going to right click on this link and copy the link location so I can go back up to the top of my code for the data viz for all I'm in my version of the code I'm going to go to the readme file and I'm going to paste the link in here first I have to go over and click that edit button the pencil looks like edit this file and I'm going to go into that line that says link to live chart I'm going to erase the one that's already there and then paste in the version that goes to my brand new account that I just created here. I have to commit and save those changes. Okay, and now I can actually test, see how it looks. I'm going to click that link in a new tab and poof, I have a high chart scatter chart. It's the same code that I copied over and you can float over and see different points, but the axes aren't labeled and the title isn't what I want yet. And there's just a few points. So let's go in and actually make some changes. So if I go back to my version of the code, I'm here at the top level of the code now. And if I go down, I'll see there's a file called index.html. And that's got all of the code. That's really the most of the code template. I want to go edit this. And if I zoom in a couple levels so I can increase the size. Here we go. So it's a code template. There's lots of code in here, about maybe 7,500 lines. And a lot of this is stuff that I'm not going to change. All of the top here is sort of like loading the high charts code library. And it's also putting in a certain uh, height for the chart. But these sections here, wherever I see the word edit in the code comments, that might be a place where I might want to edit something. So right here it says um, scatter chart, the existing title. I'm going to go ahead and take that out and type in a new one. Income and test scores in Connecticut school districts 2009 to 13. Here's another one. I can go down to a subtitle where it's pointing to some source data and I can add in more information about where the source data is coming from. If you see the beginning of it, it's pointing to an href code. That's basically a little uh, HTML link saying point to the data scatter CSV, but I put in more text. Here's where the data is actually coming from, and you'll see that this part I don't need to change, um, uh, but I have an option of putting in color categories. Look at the notes for that. And here's the x-axis label. I can type in a new label here. Let's call this one median household income. And the y-axis, that's the vertical one, let's change that and call that grade levels above slash below average. Okay, now there's more code here. You could change the size of the points. You can edit the tooltips. And I've actually put these in for you right now where it's going to say district and household, median household income and grades above below average and uh, the actual variables that it connects with there. So you'd have to for figure out which is which here, but lots of trial and error you can do to figure out which parts of the code template you want to keep the same or modify. The rest of this here is just other types of options for colors or different types of markers. And I'm going to commit all those changes. 
Okay, I've committed the changes. Let's go up to the tab with my live chart and let's refresh that and see what looks different. Oh, good. I've got my brand new title now and my subtitle. I still have those same points, but I've got the X axis and the Y axis as I made those changes. Let's go back to the code repository tab and go to the upper level here. And let's actually talk about the data file. Here's the data dash scatter dot CSV. And in GitHub, you can click on that and actually see what a CSV data file looks like. It's just a simple spreadsheet in tables and it's just got a few points. So I want to go back to the upper level here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a file that I've downloaded from the tutorial. Now here it is in my download. It's got the exact same name, data-scatter.csv, but if I open it up in a spreadsheet tool, I can see it's a much longer file. It's the same format at the top, income, grades, district, but I've got much more data. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that in. Let me go grab that again drop it in and scroll down to commit those changes. Now you could have made your own CSV file in the exact same format. It takes a moment or two just to update that data and let's go and actually make sure it's there. I'll click now on the same data-scatter.csv and you can see it's a much longer file now. Great, let's go up to my live map, I'm sorry, live chart and refresh that and poof, now all the data is in there also. That's how to make a scatter chart with a high charts template. And you want to see your repositories to look at all of them. Just go to the uppermost file here and click repositories on your username and you'll see all the repositories you've made in GitHub.